Hello everyone, I'm in Blackpool in the northwest of England. And it's just Saturday the 3rd of August. It's a pretty blustery day and it's beautiful as well. So I'm not far from the central pier, which is this side. And we'll turn around. The north pier is facing this way towards me. So I'm in between two piers. So the tide's going out, so there's people on the beach at the moment. There's quite a few hundred people on the beach. And the promenade is really, really busy with people, which is good. Families here, loads of them. Got the coast guard on the on the beach as well. Making sure everybody's okay. We've got the donkeys on the beach as well. And then we have the Blackpool Tower, of course. Beautiful day. It's a bit, it's a bit blistery. Yeah, it is t-shirt and uh, and shorts weather. So there's uh, quite a few uh, seagulls flying around, which is nice. There you go, they're all scrounging for food. Yeah. They make a lot of noise. So let's have a quick walk on the beach, I think. This is one of the places where you can get on the beach pretty easy because there's a slope. Yeah, they love the uh, lifeboats on here. And people can walk down with their prams and their wheelchairs, etc. as well. So it's pretty accessible. Plenty of people swimming in the sea as well. There you go, plenty of sand castles. Trying to get wet feet. There we are. Got donkeys in front of me. Doing donkey rides. It's where you find the donkeys on Blackpool Beach, but not on a Friday. They give them a day off on a Friday. Sea Life Centre, Funland Amusements, Bad and Two Saws, here as well. Got the amusements, got the lifeboat station here, which walks me to some more donkeys. 
youngsters rides. Are you busy? It's because you've got a tent up. as well yeah but there are people swimming actually in the sea okay, let's walk up to here and we'll get off the beach shortly Towards where there's like 50 seagulls, most likely. And there's a lovely load of them, a flock of seagulls. Uh, got to be careful here because it's uh, pretty deep. He's uh, well into boots, I think. Let's go back a little bit. Maybe not, it's a little bit too deep, so I haven't got the right footwear on. So it looks further up when it's uh, not so deep. Here goes all the seagulls. All scratching for food. You got people in the sea here. Digging down to, we're digging down to uh, Australia, I think. Looks like someone's been buried. Hello, all right? Almost done. Yeah, nearly done. Okay. <laughs> you got people here just from nationalities. As well, and different cultures. You know, someone's got their own little mini paddling pool. Tread somewhere where it's not so deep. Yeah. 
Yeah, the youngsters are enjoying themselves. We have the, the tower again. Up here it doesn't seem too bad, so I can get up the winch, hopefully. I need a narrow part. Right, up to you. <laughs> I thought this was the narrow part and it isn't. Oh, it's still flowing, it's pretty deepish. I said before, there's no way I'll be able to be able to cross all that lot without getting my feet wet. Ah. Uh -uh. I think I better go start going back. So that way I can get round there. So I need a nice and lovely little narrow part so I can cross over. I might have to go the way I came in, I think. As you can see, there's water here. It's not good travelling back on the bus with wet feet. Nice walking on the lovely sandy beach. Since they started the sea defences at Cleavis, it's really, really pebbly as soon as you hit the beach. But here, you can, as soon as you hit the beach, you're on, you're on sand, so it's a lot more easier on foot. Help! Help! <laughs> Poor youngster's being buried. There we go, there's a bit here I can cross over, I think, but it's not deep. Over here on this bit, and up the steps we go. Willow! Come on! So that's my walk on on the beach in Blackpool. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll catch you very soon now. And as you can see I'm on the promenade. So bye bye and thanks for watching.